Hello, before you start, this contains spoilers and possible triggers for some, talking about volume 3 and 4, so just a little uh, disclaimer before you start. Thanks. Hello, 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 how are you? I am Julia, and for this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Heartstopper series. Hold on. Um, so... These have literally been out of stock everywhere, but I got them. I got the original covers because I know they're coming out with the TV covers and I'm sure they're adorable, but um, I don't like TV covers. Um, actually, the Summer I Turned Pretty, the TV cover, is actually very cute and I really like it. Um, it's like kind of just like plain. And I like that kind of stuff, so, um, yeah, anyway, I was just, this probably won't be very long because I suck, I suck at reviewing normal books, and these are graphic novels, so let's see how this goes. Um, the first one, Heartstopper Volume 1, follows Charlie and Nick, and they become friends with Charlie joining the rugby team with Nick um because Nick sees that he's a fast that Charlie is a fast runner um and then things go on from there um I really loved this I really did I'm not really like a graphic novel person but the love that I have for these two is very strong um it gave me all of the feels I just I loved it. Not much happens in this one. Well, I mean, a lot happens in this one, but I think this is, yeah, they just have, like, cute little moments that you're, like, they like each other, but they're not, like, Charlie knows that he is gay, and Nick is kind of, like, come, not coming to terms, but, like, figuring out what he wants and what he likes, and, um, I really liked this. It was nice just like because this is more like friendly um it's more friendship than relationship and i think that kind of continues throughout the series and i really liked that um they just they have my heart this one's really good um the snow the snow scene adorable um they just had like they were so cute his sister, I can't remember her name, but I remember no one's name, and her random, like, coming in and going, <laughs> it was so funny, and her being, like, constantly, like, I don't, I don't think he's straight, I don't know, um, and then, like, he's looking up if he's gay, like, I just, oh, the birthday party, Charlie's friends suck, um, at least the one did, it's just, this was really good, and I really liked it. The next one, Heartstopper Volume 2, um, this one is still them being friends, um, but Nick is kind of figuring out more about who he is and, like, his sexuality and things, and, um, The Rain, super cute. We're also following, um, Tao, well, I guess they are, they're in a relationship, but... It's, like, secret. Because it starts off, like, the end of the first one is Charlie kisses Nick and then Nick runs away because his friends are there. It was very upsetting. But then he, Charlie comes back and he's, like, um, he goes to his house and he's, like, yeah, I do like you. Alid, L, and I think there's another friend, but I can't remember his name. But it basically, it follows them. Um, and this was just also super sweet. And in this... My favorite part, is it in here? Is, I don't think it's in the beginning, where is it? I'm gonna cry. Oh my god, there it is. <laughs> Why does this kid's socked feet on his little tippy toes make my heart melt? <laughs> it was so cute, I just, this was just adorable. This is them kind of just like, being the start of their relationship, them being cute, 
um but it is very it is still a secret and they kind of it's kind of an it's not an issue but it's an issue um because charlie is very much like wants everyone everyone to know but he's very supportive of nick it's very cute i don't know how to explain it it's just cute and i loved them and then the first two are the show if you didn't watch the show the show was fantastic perfectly casted um i don't i just oh so good i don't know how to explain this oh we also follow tara and tara's girlfriend we also go in deeper to tara and her relationship they're just cute and i don't know how if you want better a better review go to goodreads um volume three they are in paris let's see what i sell so this one they go to paris and they're still a secret they've told a couple of people but they're also telling more people on the trip um Nick is kind of dealing with his dad. He lives in Paris and he's a jerk. So that was fun. We didn't even meet him and I hated him. Nick's brother is in this for five seconds and I despised him. Never want to see him again. And this is just them in Paris kind of like exploring. Um, and this we also start to see that Nick is kind of worried about Charlie and the possibility of him having an eat eating disorder. So this is when I think it kind of starts to get more serious. Um, the first and second book are kind of them just like being cute and in love and like starting off their friendship and their relationship. And this is where we kind of get more into the mental health of it. Because um, something that I did not mention is in the beginning... We also learned about how Charlie was outed, which I feel like is very important. I just have talked about it. I just forgot. Um, he was outed by someone and he was bullied very heavily. And um, so that's talked about. And I'm not sure why like his mental health is kind of going on a down um but it does and nick is there for him and also we tau and l are also like they go out on like their own little their own little adventure in paris and it was super cute we don't see any of it but it was adorable yeah i don't know how else to explain these they're very cute and i love them what is her girlfriend's name Oh, Charlie gets a hickey, too. That was kind of funny. No one is saying anyone's name in this. Oh my god, the soccer kiss. Or not soccer, the rugby. When he, like, I think Charlie gets hurt, and I think it's in the second one, and Nick goes to, like, check and see if he's okay, and they kiss. It was so cute. Um, But yeah, they go to Paris in this one. <sighs> Nick's dad is a jerk, Nick's brother is a jerk, his mom is super sweet and wonderful, and Charlie is also adorable. I just love him. He's just, like, awkward and cute and adorable, and I just... That's why I think the kid that they casted for him in the show, just immaculate. Like, just so good playing charlie and i thought nick was also perfectly casted like amazing darcy tara and darcy um so this one volume four they're back from their school trip from paris and they're home they go on a little beach trip um this we get a little more involved in everyone's kind of mental health um especially charlie we get more involved in the eating disorder and his sister kind of is like are you good? And so he talks to her about it. Um, I actually really liked the way that she handled writing about his mental health. Um, Nick is very supportive and loving and wonderful and I, I love him. Um, when they go to the beach, we also get a little more um, in depth, not by much, but like we get like kind of like Darcy's home life a little bit as well as 
Tara's, Darcy's a little more serious, um, and what else happens? They say I love you to each other, which was super cute and wonderful and <laughs> awkward, and I loved it. Um, yeah, that's, they spend, um, a little bit of time apart. Charlie goes to the hospital, and they write to each other, which was, I loved that, um, and yeah, we also, we get a little bit into the teacher, and the other teacher, I can't remember their names, um, um, I like that she's getting so involved in the side characters, I think that's really good, um, but I love these, I think these are cute, um, I, this sucked, and I know it did, and I'm sorry, but I don't know, I don't really know how to review graphic novels um they were good and they were cute and I read them really quickly um I think that's what's important is like they kept my interest so I really liked them yeah but that's it thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed um remember to like comment and subscribe all that jazz and then if you would also like um all of my social medias will be linked down below if you would follow those. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.